Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hello, this is Mike with Tradewinds here to congratulate you on your purchase of your Pinnacle 36 SSWS 5th wheel. You guys have picked a beautiful unit. I'm here to walk you through it, show you how to set up the campsite, get the best use out of it. Let's start by arriving at the campsite. You're unhooking your hitch. First thing you want to do Come over here. What's right on this light here? Inside this panel box is your equalizing system. Simply turn on your power, hit auto level, and it's going to bring your unit up nice and level. Once you have your unit level, the next thing you want to do is hook up your water and your power. We'll go with the power first. On the back off campsite, you have your power retract power cord. To the right, simply push up to retract it. And when you're taking it out, it'll go forward as well. On the end of your power cord, you have what we call a dog bone. This is to take you from 50 down to 30. And should you need to just hook up to some 110, and your convenience pack is that amperage reducer. Remember, running on 110, you will not be able to run your air conditioning. We have our power hooked up. Next thing we're going to do is hook up our water. Coming back around here to your port station, you're going to hook up your sewage or your water hose. At the end of your water hose, you're going to use this water pressure regulator. This is very important. You don't know what the pressure is at the parks. This is going to put you between 40 and 60 PSI, which is great for your lines. Won't blow your lines out. As you see in here, all your directions on how to set up these, excuse me, these pieces for every different situation is right here. For example, if you're dry camping, it's set up the way it is right now. We're going to fill we're going to do our city water first, so we're going to set it. Tonight's that. Turn on your city water. Once the hose is on, you're going to come over to the other side of your unit to your hot water heater. And your hot water heater is a pressure release valve. Simply pull this valve to you hear all the air coming out. Once you see some water, you know your tank is full and can be lit. Light it from the inside. I'll show you that on the access panel inside. If you arrive at a campsite that does not have city water, and you just want to fill up your water tanks, use the same hose, same line, same water pressure regulator, power tank fill. Or, excuse me, dry camping. Sit it like so, fill it up, repeat the same way on the other side. Once you know it's full, you know your tank is full. Once you release that air and your water comes out, you know your tank is full. When using that potable water for dry camping, water via the tank pump, remember to use your water pump inside. Don't turn on your water pump if you're hooked up to city water. 
more pieces in here. Your solar hookup, so you choose to put solar on the unit. Your cable, TV hookups. Of your water, a spray port. Black tank flush, we'll talk about when dumping your tanks along with these. And your water filter. Now we have our water and our electricity set up. And we'll walk around the rest of the unit. Starting at the front is your propane. Simple regulator. Point it toward whichever tank you're going to be using. Third tank on the other side is not hooked up. Is a spare. This is your heat release from your furnace. Please have people steer clear of it. Outdoor port, your black tank flush. This is the back of your refrigerator. Same excess air, that is your hood vent for your microwave. Antenna, low point drain. That blue piece right there is for draining your uh, water tanks. Again, your power hose. On the back of your unit, you do have your ladder. Theory on backup system. Should you choose to put a backup camera on this unit? Your rear lights. Come around to the campsite. Spare tire manual crank. And another low point drain for draining more water. Your outdoor speakers. Spray port. And this is actually just to read the outdoor temperature that you can get a reading on inside your camper. Inside your storage area, you do have your vacuum system light vacuum system and this is a water tank that will you can fill up while going down the road provide fresh water indoors I'll show you where that will come out to your manual crank satellite TV and 110 out here should you choose to put a TV out here it's nothing the outside let's check out the inside of your unit so just inside your door you to your left as you come in will be your fire extinguisher and just to your right all these panels second to the top panel okay quite a few information up here shows you where you're wired for solar this little black button is for your fan down there which will run with the plug in this is your max air vent which runs right here there's a button to open it and to turn it on That'll move air rather nicely through the unit. And then to the left is your access panel. Control panel, excuse me. You hit home, you can check your climate, check your tanks, your leveling system, set your temperature for inside, control all your lights, control your, check your tire pressure, and see what your battery level is. Go back to home. If you don't want to use them lights, simply touch any button down here. That's slide three, move to the left. Slide two, slide one, retract or extend. Awning two, awning one, same thing, extract or extend. PA is to pair it. You can pair this system to a smartphone and work your controls off from your smartphone. And off. Below. Nice entry room, entry closet. And your bottom panel. It's gonna be your access to your fuses and breaker boxes. Looks like you have a few 15s in there, quite a few of them, some 20s. I highly recommend keeping them on hand when you go camping. Of course, this is all set up 110. These little black pieces that you see all throughout the unit are thermostats. That's to read your temperature throughout the unit. Of course, your dinette with the storage on hydraulics or extend out for a longer table. 
There are two more chairs standard, stored underneath the bed to bring up here. They should be folding, folding chairs to match the decor of these chairs. And your Stacy Stewart power recline, light, heat, power recliner, retract, cup holder lights, or excuse me, accent lights. There's a massage, and that's heat, and a USB port. All throughout this trailer, you'll see that you can access the lighting from just sitting down anywhere. There's one here, there's one over in the kitchen. There's your television and sound bar and sound system. At the top of your entertainment system, IRV Technologies Bluetooth auxiliary in, three speaker zones. You can play your music indoors, outdoors, or both. Clock Bluetooth modes, AM, FM, stereo. A single crank loud. So raise your TV. Simply lift this button. TV raises. To lower your TV, you simply push down from the top. You're here at lock in. Down below everything is your fireplace. Several different settings for heat, different flames, lower your flames down, and temperature settings, turn on and off. You also have your big pantry. On your stove, you have a panel light with a cool blue LED and an oven light. This should be an auto light. If you turn to left, turn to press in, turn to left, spark, and you're on. Again, lighting, and your microwave. On your fridge, several settings, electricity or gas, when you set to both, that means when you're plugged in, it goes to electricity. When you unplug it, automatically goes to gas. That's gas. That's gas electricity, which is auto. Or shut it off. You can change your temperature here. At the bottom of your steps, your vacuum system. There's a hose and vacuum underneath the bed. A little night lighting that lights up as you pass it. You do have your wardrobe slide here outside the bathroom. And of course your huge bathroom. His and her sinks. Just want to take note, you do have a 110 in here with GFI light for protection. Lighting switches. Stepping into your bathroom, bedroom. Beautiful room, access to more lighting. Bedroom ceiling lights you can shut off and on here. Another thermostat. Everything else self-explanatory again. Secret to using these fireplaces is if you're plugged in somewhere to camp and it's a little toasty in the morning, crank this up and it'll warm it up in here nicely. Use their electricity instead of your gas. Again, your Furion television, charging station, 12 volt, and a couple USB ports, another 110. Once again, next to your bed, more access to handling all the lighting from bed. You can shut off all the living room lights that you forgot to shut off before getting into bed. Here we turn it up. And your wine guard satellite system. Here's where you turn it on. That's about it on the inside. I do a note right next to the bed. In case you couldn't see it here, here's another 110. I would like to show you how to set up your sofa real quick. Change it into a bed. Take note that this ottoman is also a storage. Now 
to change this into a bed. Simply remove the back cushions. And Velcro it on. I like to grab it in the middle. Lift up. Open your support legs. Pull it out. And pull it on your back. And again to put it away, lift, stand in the middle for support, lift it up, bring your legs in, jackknife it down, put your cushions back on. Now we're getting ready to leave the campsite. Closed up all the slides, we're going to go dump the unit. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up to the dump station. Inside your convenience pack is a sewage hose. Safely with gloves on, be sanitary. Attach the sewage hose to here, hook the other, stretch it out, it's accordion in. Hook the other up into the dump. You're going to come over here to your dumps and you're going to pull your black water tank. Let the black water tank empty. Once you think it's empty, you can take your hose along with your water pressure regulator again and you're going to hook it up to your black tank valve. Hook your hose up to that and let it run about five minutes. What that's going to do is it's going to make a sprayer spray out your black tank and get all that gunk out of there. Make sure you leave your black tank hose open and your handle pulled while you're spraying it out. Once you spray it out, remove your hose. Check everything, pull your gray water tank. Once you hear that one's empty, pull your other gray water tank. Once that one's empty, simply grab your hose, store it away in a safe place, keep the smell away from you. Again, congratulations on purchase of your new Pinnacle fifth wheel. Enjoy your summer and many to come. Happy camping.